In this part of our tutorial, we will learn how to detect the ground and other surfaces and use it to display our robot's model in augmented reality. Okay, in this step, we want to learn how we can detect the ground and other surfaces and use the place we have detected for reference of the position of our 3D model. Okay, I made an example uh, with all system, so we will check it out how it works. I made a scene, uh, I called it ground detection, and I saved in the folder scenes and also I've added the AR session origin with the AR camera and AR and uh, you need to make sure your AR session origin uh, should has uh, AR session origin component AR plane manager AR raycast manager and uh, also your AR camera need to has uh, track it pose driver which is a uh, pose source must be color camera these components are already in the uh, library of the AR foundation so if you want to add them just search them in here for example write AR Raycast as you can see AR Raycast manager is here okay and uh, also for tracking and instantiation the 3D model, we need to have a script to manage the detection and, the, and get the position of uh, that place we have detected and instantiate a 3D model. I made a, a script, C sharp script. I call it AR click to place. You can call it what, whatever you want. Let's to see in the Visual Studio, what is the uh, this is script? First, you need to have a uh, using Unity Engine.xr.ar foundation and xr.ar subsystems. And then in here, you need to have a public game object model that model you want to instantiate. Uh, we have a placement indicator, something like a cursor or uh, an icon for uh, understanding where is the de uh, the place and the ground detected. And in here we have a component variable. It's called AR Raycast Manager. It is exactly we that things we have here. AR Raycast Manager. We need to call it. So uh, we will. Uh, make a variable for this one AR Raycast and also the vector uh, variable it's called pose it is the position rotation in 3d space it is the an internal variable of the AR uh, foundation so we will call it as you can see we used it for the position and rotation of the position uh, of the ground detected and also our AR camera for uh, getting the vector 2 to vector 3 and uh, converting between a screen uh, position and 3D position. So in the void update, uh, we will get the position of the point and also in here we will detect, we will call the AR Raycast hit uh, it is exactly that things we need to have for uh, ground detection. I don't want to talk more about these parts. We can imagine when our app can detect the ground. So the hits that count more than zero, and it is possible uh, plus more than zero, right? It's one, for example. So the placement pause. Uh, equal hits zero dot pose so the placement pose was here pose and the position is the that's first uh, ground detected we have detected by our camera and in here we will get the rotation of the placement pose from the camera bearing and uh, it is the as you can see the camera as camera's angle at that moment and also when we can detect a ground okay let's to demo uh, appear and 
showing the placement indicator and set the position of this placement indicator with the position of the hit placement pose and placement dot rotation if we cannot detect any parts of ground and in fact it hits dot count is zero or less than zero okay try to hide the placement indicator when we have uh, an, uh, when we can detect the ground we can click or call this function it's called show model instantiate our 3d model our um, drone or UAV or UGV other types of robots and uh, set the position of it that new object we have instantiated with the placement pose dot position and set the rotation equal placement point uh, dot rotation okay this was the main issue and main main case of our uh, ground detection and instantiation our UGV or UAV in the place real um, relevant to the uh, position we have detected by uh, ground detection and uh, we need to have a placement indicator it can be anything we want for example I made an empty object and called it a uh, placement indicator then I have added this icon pentagram green pentagram to uh, this a placement indicator so when I can detect the ground I can see this pentagram if I cannot detect the ground I will not see this I don't see this pentagram so it is the sign of when we can detect and when we can instantiate our 3d model and the final part is uh, I made a simple button in here and I called it show model button as you can see it is here show model button and I said okay let's uh, when I clicked it uh, drag and drop this function this object to here and try to call air click to place show model so when I click on this button I will call this function and instantiate my drone or my robot and put the position and rotation exactly at that place our indicator was there the final part is I need to click on AR session origin and drag and drop my 3d model I made a prefab of my 3d model for example this is my prefab folder and this is my prefab but how we can create a prefab it is really simple so I uh, you need to create a 3d uh, a folder with this method create a new folder and call it prefab or whatever you want then drag and drop your file or your 3d model into this folder you will create a new prefab for example it is my cube and I drag and drop this cube here now as you can see it is blue it is not white and I already have a prefab in here and I can instantiate how many I want okay then when I make when I make my uh, prefab I don't want it this one uh, drag and drop the model prefab into the here and placement indicator this one into the here and ARA cast you can find it by drag and drop ARA cast manager or you can click on this circle and you will see just AR session origin in your scene and click it and also for AR camera you can drag and drop or find it from this here okay the last step is 
you need to come here build settings and check off the 2d marker and at open scenes ground detection so let's export an apk and test it on our device okay now we launch this app and it is our green pentagram so as you can see this is the surface of my table and also this is my ground okay now i want to uh, show my drone perfect i want to instantiate another one here right and for example on the ground that's it perfect okay Thank you.